Hi! In this tutorial I would like to teach you how to create coding or grouping variables that have been already mentioned in previous tutorials. Coding variables use numbers to represent different groups of data. As such, it is a numeric variable, but these numbers represent names, for example gender, but also for example different geographic locations or different organizations. I will again use my example data set with height of 10 people. Our coding variable here is gender. You can see it in the first column. I will now delete the variable and show you how to create it. Perfect. So, to create this coding variable, we follow the steps for creating a normal variable. We go to Variable View and we insert a new variable. We will call it gender, as we did before. I'm still trying to teach you good habits, so move along the second row to cut to the column called label, and we give the variable full description, such as the question from the questionnaire, which can be, what is your gender? What is your Perfect. Now we will define the group codes. So that's the most important part if we want to create a coding variable. Let's go into the values column and click on the three dots on the right side. The following dialog box should appear. Now we will assign a value 1 to all male participants and value 2 to all female participants. First, Click in the white space next to where it says value and type in a code 1. You could use any numbers you wish. You could use for example 34 male and 44 female. But for the sake of convention people typically use numbers such as 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. The second step is to click in the white space below next to where it says label and type in an appropriate label, label for that group. In our case, we would like one to represent male, so we will type male. The third step is to add this coding to the list by clicking on Add here. Now we can see in the table one equals male. Now we will add a code 2 for female in the same way. So the value 2 should represent females so we type female in the label window and we click on add. Now one represents male and two will represent female. You can also click on spelling on the right side and SPSS will check your variable labels for spelling errors. We got a message that no spelling errors found. Click OK and to finish this click OK again. Finally, coding variables always represent categories and so the level at which they are measured is nominal or sometimes ordinal if the categories have a meaningful order. In our case it's nominal and therefore we should specify the level at which the variable is measured by going, going to the column measure. It's the pre-last one and we will select nominal from the drop-down list. Now we can switch back to the data view and now we see we have a gender column, new variable has been created and we can type the numbers, the numerical values into the gender column. So let's just randomly type numbers 112212. Perfect. And now you can get SPSS to display the numeric codes like we have now, 1 or 2, or the value labels so it will display male or female by clicking on this icon value labels in the menu bar. I have already shown this to you in the previous tutorial. So let's try it. We have gender, male, female or 1, 2. So you can a, you can just put whatever you prefer. So this is how you can create coding variables in SPSS.
Thank you for watching this tutorial.